Nicolas Maduro's plan to rewrite Venezuela's constitution has been widely condemned as an attempt to exclude the country's opposition from the legislative process but options for his domestic and international critics are limited, unpalatable and likely to cause turbulence on international oil markets while worsening conditions for an already suffering population. More than 100 people have been killed in clashes between protesters and security forces since April amid almost daily demonstrations against shortages of food and medicine, the world's highest inflation rate, alarmingly high murder rates, delayed elections, the jailing of opposition leaders, the increasing influence of the army, and efforts by the government-appointed courts to curtail the powers of the opposition-held National Assembly. Venezuela's chief prosecutor becomes hate figure for Maduro. Supporters read more Maduro's response was to initiate a rewriting of the constitution put in place in 1999 by his predecessor Hugo Chavez. A new constituent assembly was elected at the weekend in polls boycotted by the opposition because constituencies were unfairly skewed in favor of the United Socialist Party, which has ruled the country for 18 years. Maduro claims this is the only way to restore stability in the face of an economic war being waged by the U.S. and its allies, who want to secure control of Venezuela's vast oil resources. But this move to nullify the outcome of the 2015 legislative elections has dismayed many former hardcore Chavistas, including Attorney General Luisa Ortega, who vowed to challenge the Constituent Assembly. This is the end of freedom of expression, she said on Monday. This is a smokescreen to hide the corruption and crisis that Venezuela faces. A democratic institutional solution would be the best way out of the political crisis, but it appears an increasingly distant prospect. The ruling party has postponed regional elections that were scheduled at the end of last year, imposed controls on the media, and has now put in place a rubber stamp assembly. Outlets for dissent are diminishing and increasingly risky. Two opposition leaders, Leopoldo Lopez and Antonio Ledesma, have been taken from their homes, where they were under house arrest. They have previously been accused of fomenting unrest by calling for protest but their supporters appear more split than ever, some call for more violent resistance, while others are reluctant to take to the streets in a situation that many fear is drifting towards civil war. External pressure is growing, but of mixed effectiveness. The Organization of American States has been increasingly vocal in its criticism of Venezuela, but its Members remain divided.